Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. In this episode of scripting in Unity we'll talk about the extension methods. It's very useful yet very often overlooked mechanism of c -sharp language. It basically allows you to add methods to types that you don't have access to or don't want to modify. In terms of Unity it generally means the classes provided by the Unity engine, for example rigid body or vector. Of course, you may be wondering why should you use extension methods over, for example, creating a utility class. It's a very tricky question. Extension methods, like a lot of other features, are basically expanding your toolbox. They are not meant to replace other things, like inheritance, or make you resign from creating your own types. However, creating your own types may sometimes lead to unnecessary increase of complexity. It becomes even more apparent when you work in a larger team. It's very common that you introduce new type and then after a while you realize that somebody didn't use it and just duplicated your code. Or even worse, when you introduce new type you didn't realize that the code already existed. <coughs> so long story short, extension methods allow you to add methods to classes you don't want to modify, keeping them in a place where it makes the most sense. Let's have a look at how we create an extension methods. For that you will need a little bit of knowledge about static classes and static methods. If you would like to learn about them, check this tutorial. We start by creating new class. We give it a name of the type we will extend, followed by the word extension. Of course this is not a hard requirement, it's just a good practice. Then we make the class static and we are ready to create our first extension method. We start by creating a static method. This is very important. The extension methods have to be static. Then as usual we define the return type and the name of the method. The first parameter preceded by the word this indicates which type we extend. Usually if you created the extension method and it doesn't show up, it means you have forgotten the word this before the first parameter. And that's really it. Let's have a look at some useful examples. But before we do that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Of course only if you found this video interesting. If there are any subjects you would like me to cover or you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Ok, let's go to the examples. We all work with vectors very often. And one of the most common operations we have to do is to modify value of one axis. Unfortunately, it's impossible to do it directly. This means we have to create a new vector reassigned to values we want to keep and then modify the third one. It's not only long, but it's also very error prone. If we want to make it shorter, we can assign the vector to a variable with very short name. But it not only doesn't solve the second problem, but also is just plain ugly. Let's solve our problems using extension method. First I create a new class and call it vector extension. Of course I make it static. I create a static method returning vector free and call it with. Then the first parameter is vector free preceded by the word this. Then the second one is the axis I want to modify. And then the third is the value I want to assign. I add the using Unity engine to make the vector free type visible. Then I am creating simple enum axis to store the values x, y and z. If you don't know what enums are, don't worry, we'll talk about them in the next episode. Then in our method I return a new vector free. For each axis I check if that's the one I want to modify and if so I assign the value provided in the parameter to it. If it's not the one, I simply assign the old value. Now I can use the with method to generate any vector from existing one. This may not be the shortest solution, but it's definitely the least error prone. Let's reuse the code to write another extension method. Sometimes we have a vector 2 and we need to convert it to vector 3. Unity Engine can do that for us. The z-axis will be defaulted to 0. Sometimes however we want there to be a different value. Let's create two different variants of a extension method that will allow us to do that. Let's create another with method this time as a first parameter having vector2. Then let's change the behavior for the z-axis. Because the vector2 doesn't have z-axis, instead of assigning old value, we'll assign 0. Not bad. For a little bit shorter variant, let's create another method, this time without axis parameter. Let's make it return new vector with old x and y values, and then the z we provide. Let's make the name a little bit clearer, and we are done. Fantastic! Now let's have a look at some general guidelines. The first one is pretty obvious. If you have access to a class, it's always better to extend it rather than add the extension methods to it. 
This will allow you to keep all the logic in one place, making debugging and maintenance much easier. Currently there is no way to add the extension methods to static classes. So for example you cannot extend the input class to directly give you the mouse position in the word space. And third very important point, if a type contains already a method with a given name and the same signature, your extension method will be simply ignored. I hope you learned something useful. Have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.